Yeah, I think this would be really good for you. you know. Yeah. Yeah, you'll enjoy lots of skipping, lots of different disciplines, punching the back. Bring back memories for me. <laughs> Dad thought I was going boxing because I liked it. I did, it was great. But it wasn't just that that kept me going back. Coach Becky, she was the fittest girl I'd ever seen. She was so fit. I fancied her from the moment I set eyes on her. Great. He's really taken to it, hasn't he? It's a natural. In fact, we've got the under 16s county championships coming up in June. I think he should enter. Oh, great. Is he ready for that? Well, he'll need to keep up his training, but we do extra sessions during the week. Brandon, coach wants you to enter the under 16s county matches. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> great. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 to 8. Yeah, that's when your sister has judo. I can't let her walk home by herself, can I? Don't worry, Dad. Come on my bike. Be good exercise. Great. You're going to be a champ. <laughs> I thought I was going to group training. So did my dad. Where are the others? It's just us two. The others can't make it. Oh, OK. Don't tell anyone though, will you? It's just you're too good not to have a chance in the championships and it seems a waste to cancel the sessions just because the others couldn't make it. You can keep a secret, can't you? Yes, coach. It's just the two of us. Call me Becky. Go on then, go get changed. Well done. You can stop looking down my top now. <laughs> oh, come on, Brandon. They're only boobs. She must have known I had a crush on her. You're coming on really well, you know. The other change room's freezing. The other boys don't mind, but I can always leave if you want. No, it's, it's okay. So, what are you doing this weekend? You're out with your girlfriend? What? This weekend, I said you're out with your girlfriend. You're 14, aren't you? You're always dating by then. But the girls are all over a man like you. What's the matter? You've never seen a girl half naked before? I have. I've seen loads of girls. I've seen loads of girls naked. In real life? Well, I won't tell if you don't. What's the matter? Don't you fancy me? Are you gay or something? No. Then prove it. Be a man. I couldn't believe my luck. Me. I just had sex with the fittest girl I'd ever seen. I couldn't wait to tell my mate.
you uh you can't tell anybody about us. I really like you. But what happened? You can't tell anyone, it's a secret. It's our secret. If anyone finds out what happens, we'll be in trouble. You'll be in trouble. Your teachers, your friends, your dad. They don't understand. They'll blame you. So you can't tell anyone. Ever. Promise? Promise. Go on then, get out of here. Got to lock up. It didn't take long before we was doing it every time we was alone. She called me her boyfriend. Told me I was special. Sometimes we'd send sexy messages and pictures to each other. Sometimes she'd buy me presents like new trainers or t-shirts to look the part for training. But always it was a secret. It was great, but sometimes she could get a bit weird. Get really angry for no reason. I got tonight. I've got to go. Have you told someone about us? No. You have, haven't you? You can't keep a secret. You're a lying little. I haven't told anyone anything. Well, what is it then? Are you seeing someone else? I mean, who is she? Did you meet her at school? No. You're just using me, aren't you? Why are you acting like a psycho? It's my dad's birthday. Oh, I bet that's her now. See? Babe, I'm sorry. You know it's just because I love you so much. Fuck off. You see, here's the thing. I love the fact that we're seeing this well-fit older woman. But after a while, things started getting more complicated. She got possessive. Texting me all the time, asking where I was. Told me I couldn't see my friends because she thought I was seeing someone else. I even caught her going through my messages. She'd get angry if I wanted to see my mates, but if she wanted to see hers, she'd get angry at me for wanting to see her. Tell me I was suffocating her. Would only ever have sex if she wanted to. I needed to tell someone, but I was scared of what she'd do if I did. All right. What are you doing here? I'm just going to see you. I've got homework. You've been messing around with me for four months. What, and this is how you repay me? Have you told one of your mates about me? No. Well, one of your mate's brothers came round the other day, called me a pedo, said he knew everything that we'd been doing. I haven't told anyone. Well, you best not have done. Because if you have, I'll make your life a living misery. I'll tell everyone that you forced me. And who do you think they'll believe? You or me? And then when you go to school, what'll they think there? That you're some kind of perv, that's what. And then you go to jail. I didn't. Oh, you didn't what? You, you didn't want to? Well, if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have been able to get it up, would you? No. You've been using me all this time. I came to tell you. I'm pregnant. What? Oh, you heard me. And it's all your fault. So what are you going to do? Just leave me alone. She wasn't pregnant, but after that the rumours at school started. Some of my friends stopped talking to me. I was so stressed about all the lying and whispers, I started falling behind on my work. I felt so dirty and used all the time. She was playing mind tricks on me, telling me I was ugly, crap in bed, no one would want to date me that I should feel lucky she'd date me. After a while, I started to believe her. I felt so down and nervous all the time. My lying and secrets started to unwind. Things at home got really tough. Eventually, the truth started to come out. I don't know how the police found out, but they did. They took my laptop, my phone, everything. Becky was arrested. I thought my parents were going to flip out, but they didn't. They told me I'd done nothing wrong. Funny thing is, my mates all thought I were awesome. They kept asking me how I did it. I didn't feel awesome though. All they saw was a fit girl. They didn't know about the controlling, stress and mind games that went on. I should have stuck to dating girls my own age. I didn't realise it was wrong at the time. It took me ages before I realised that what Becky had done to me was wrong. It was abuse. 
I didn't think about the consequences when it was all happening. I just thought it was great. Sometimes I wonder what it'd be like if it was the other way around. And if I was a girl and Becky was a man. If people would have realized something was up sooner. Becky abused me sexually, physically and mentally. And the results lasted for years. There was an investigation. I wasn't the only boy she'd been with. She'd done it to others too. Some as young as 12. Becky was a paedophile. If someone a lot older than you is making sexual advances, you need to tell someone. Especially if they ask you to keep it a secret. You've not done anything wrong. Boys can get groomed and sexually abused too. Never think you're less of a man for speaking up about it. Okay, you give it, I got it. Show a rhythm on it, make you run it, take my front, adopt it. New tricks come and sit like, who's this? Yeah, I give it, never fool with it. I'm going hard, turning heads from hate, they understand. I'm a man with original plans. Keep your chest pumped, chin up if you get bumped. Next thing you'll be knocking, so you best come.